In the field of audio video, people know the name SMPTE typically in connection with time code. SMPTE time code. What is SMPTE time code and how is it changing? So SMPTE time code, uh, SMPTE stands for the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, some that may not be familiar with that. Um, and time code is basically a way to put a stamp on a frame of video or media, basically, that identifies that frame of video uh, so you know uh, what time it was recorded and that it stays consistent so you can take it into the post-production environment and actually can edit stuff. Now, so much of the uh, modern editing, uh, uh, the cheaper editing systems uh, or, or software are not reading SMPTE time code anymore. How is SMPTE t uh, adapting to the, the, uh, so much uh, video being shot on mobile and uh, other formats? Yeah, so that, they basically use things like frame counters to get along, but there's a new um, effort going on in SEMPTI to create a thing called a time label. Uh, and that's uh, similar to time code and time stamps we have today, but it actually keeps pace with the modern way of doing things, especially in computer systems and things like that. So we used to be very limited on the number of bits and information we could store, uh, in time code, and now with the new IT formats and things like that, the bit numbers aren't limited. So we're looking at a lot more different uses, such as collecting exact time of day, the date, uh, also other user information that could go in there can identify the camera and things like that possibly to assist people downstream to put content together. Will it be easier to get time code onto a camera recording than it has been in the past? Yeah, it should be. I mean, a lot of uh, professional cameras, of course, record time code, but on the consumer cameras, they haven't really adapted to time code yet because it really wasn't necessary. But I think these days, you're going to see more and more uses for time code since people are adapting the consumer cameras and phones, for that matter, to capture a lot of content. So phones, tablets, those types of things, we're seeing a lot more content being generated that way. Are the manufacturers interested in this yet, or is this something you're, you're going to uh, kind of introduce to them? Uh, there are some manufacturers that are interested to this. It, it depends. I mean, of course, the traditional video manufacturers are all up on this and interested in it. It's more of the newer uh, mobile devices that we have to you know, kind of reach out and get them a little bit more interested in adapting the time code and time labels into their systems as well. Uh, where can people uh, keep track of the progress on this issue? So um, the best place to keep track of this is to go to the SEMPTE website, which is just smpte.org. Uh, and if you go there, you can find out all the information you want to do on this new, uh, new time labels that we're working on.